You ever hear the saying, sometimes you're the windshield and sometimes you're the bug? Well, I wound up being the bug on this next thing. Now, what you didn't know, and first off, how many of you ever heard of a she fish or an in canoe? In canoe and she fish are the same thing. She fish is just a nickname. In canoe is the largest member of the whitefish family, and they used to grow up to 70 plus pounds. They're a fish that was on my bucket list for at least 25 years. And I had it set up with Chummy for this trip that after I killed my muskox and so forth, I could go and catch she fish. I was as excited about that almost as I was the muskox hunt. And then with what happened and what happened to me medically and the problems I was having and the water I was retaining and everything else that went on, I couldn't walk a half a mile up that river in hip boots. There's no way I'd have made it. I'd have passed out in the river and floated back downstream. So I let Nate, who's, you've seen Nate numerous times working with me over the years. He's hosted shows for me. He's done a lot of things. Uh, he's the son I've never had. He's now got a guiding business and got other things going on as well. We're, we're so close, it's, it's hard to say anything, but that's the son I never had. And it's been a pleasure knowing the man. So. If I had to give my she fish trip up to anybody in the world, Nate Berg is the one I wanted to give it to. I'm ready. Ready to catch some she fish, Harry? Let's get them. Just getting there was well worth the price of admittance. Welcome, fellas. And I wish we had time to fully share the amazing number of colorful lake trout and Arctic grayling Harry Fisher and Jerry Faust caught from this crystal clear river on that bright sunny August day. Isn't that beautiful? But the story I'd really like to focus on more is a rare species of fish found only in the Arctic and the lifelong dream my cameraman has always had to catch just one. <laughs> And being the unbelievably caring employer that I am, I graciously bowed out to give Nate Berg his chance to finally tackle Arctic she fish. Not knowing what they were, early explorers called them in canoe, which means unknown fish. They're the largest member of the whitefish subfamily, and Nate soon found out what a kick they are to catch. And I gotta be honest with you, when they I didn't get to go up the river. I couldn't have made it, and I knew I couldn't. I was really swollen up and in and, and bad shape by that point in time. But then I got to watch the video of it, and I got to see Nate holding first that smaller she fish and then a big dog. And I became so jealous of him. <laughs> I'm thinking, you little bugger, you, you cheesehead, you know, come on. And then at the same time, I was going, Get him, Nate, because I knew he would. He's like that. But it was tough to watch him catching the fish I was to be catching that had been on my bucket list for 25 years, and I haven't been back, and I haven't caught a she fish yet in my life. And that's one of a couple of things for fish that I haven't caught in North America. I haven't caught a golden trout either. That's about it. Here's a she fish, boys. We got a she fish. Outstanding. Yeah. Oh my. Yep. Oh. Now we're getting them. Yeah, she fish. She fish. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Look at the size of him. What a unique, pretty fish. Looks a lot like a whitefish with the body. The mouth <laughs> looks like a tarpon. And he fights very, very hard. What a beautiful fish. Let's get him back. Hey, buddy. Hi, buddy. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. There he goes. See you later. One grayling. Awesome. I'm coming, Doc. It's OK. I'll get him. You got her? Not such a little grayling, Doc. No, that's a nice grayling. <laughs> what a beautiful fish. Those are so gorgeous. Woo! I think we better get another one. There he 
There you go, Harry. What do you got? Nice trout. Aren't those things beautiful? I don't know how many Lakers we caught here today, but boy, they're sure loaded in here. And the she fish, may you catch one coming up here. They are very powerful. Oh, yeah. Big she fish. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> This thing is big, guys. This is a, wow! This is a 20 pound fish, guys. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. Look at that. I have dreamt of this moment since I was a kid. And it's gonna come to reality here in just a second. This is an amazing fish. Wow. Largest member of the whitefish subspecies. The Inkanu, the Connie, the big old boy. Ow! It happened, Harry! Oh, man, I seen his mouth come up and just rah! Look at that. That, my friends, <laughs> he's a monster. <laughs> yes, Harry. <laughs> Babe Oikelman, this one's for you, my friend. You, you made another one of my dreams come true. Well, I hope you liked today's video. Um, two unique species of critters, the muskox and the she fish. Most of you have probably never even heard of a she fish, and you got a chance to see them, and they're beautiful. And then you got a chance, just a quick preview of another fish called a butterfly lake trout. Now, if you look in any of the biologist books, they don't exist, but they do at Great Bear Lake. And we caught about 18 or 20 of them that day, Jerry and I, another day, and you'll see that another time. They're incredibly gorgeous. And there's two species of lake trout that exist in Great Bear Lake that nobody knows anything about. And I've caught them both. The other one has red, beet red fins on it. So special, special place. And the whole thing together, I think, give you a feeling of what that section of Canada, when you're up that far, has got to give you and what you can witness and what you can feel and what you can smell and see and everything else. The last night we were there, we had this big banquet in camp that Chummy threw, and he served muskox cooked 12 different ways. And I gotta tell you, it was delicious. The whole trip was delicious. You know, as a sportsman, Plumber's Great Bear Lake Lodge has accounted for so many amazing personal memories. There was the largest trophy lake trout I ever caught in my life, a number of fly-in trips to the Tree River for unbelievably colorful Arctic char, Arctic grayling, and monster pike. Also in the course of our muskox trip, Jerry and I had the rare experience of catching butterfly trout, a rare trout morph found only in Great Bear Lake. Benthic feeders occupying a shallow water niche They've developed large fins, a deep body, and a small rounded subterminal mouth which makes them built for rooting, hovering, and inhaling shallow water foods. Of course, you can ask my cameraman this about she fish. Wow! <laughs> Just be prepared to listen for a while. This is a 20 pound fish, guys! But friends, to me, muskox hunting is the absolute icing on the cake thus far. I know it's my job to put the whole experience into words, but to be honest, I struggle to get them out in a way that accurately expresses how it made me feel. The terrain and the particulars of where we stayed made our hunts unique. Whether you're hunting, fishing, or just out exploring, the Arctic Circle is a wonder to behold. Well, all I could do to express my appreciation was bow my head, silently say thank you, and hope that it was heard by whoever may have been listening up there. If you like today's video, Hit the subscribe button and comment, please, and, and let other people know what you thought about the video. And, and if you want to go up there and do the same things, we can help you with that. I'm Babe Winkleman. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, everybody, hey, good hunting.